Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you how to drive a man wild. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to BernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart centered, and successful women how you can attract the kind of man and relationship you want not as a result of manipulating or throwing in some gimmicks, but uh, as a way of you showing up and stepping into the most alive and most feminine version of you. Now, the topic for today is dear to my heart because it's part of what can allow you to sustain a relationship for decades, uh, going more into lovership than just virtual roommates. So because the stuff I'm gonna share with you right now is not the basic stuff that the majority of, I don't know, snazzy publications, let's call it the Cosmo magazines of the world, show up with. Uh, That's their bread and butter, how to sell you the magic trick, the magic sexual move, the magic uh, something, a hidden secret, aphrodisiac, food or combination of all those things that renders him senseless and idiotic at your feet, which is driving him wild. That's, there's a lot of angles around how to drive a man wild, and the majority of them are centered into little techniques and tricks that might do the short term, short circuit, but will never work long term to create that sustainable sense of passion and longing and intimacy that you crave. Because the stuff that I'm sharing with you right now is behind the screens of why the little techniques work, it's the depth, the grounding space with, from which the little tips and tricks might work sometimes. It's very important for you to know that you need to choose wisely. And here's what I mean. If you create a strong sense of chemistry, passion, excitement, aliveness, uh, vibration of newness and surprise and rapture with a man, and you choose the wrong man, there's gonna be a level of attachment that takes place on any level of intimacy that if you get attached to the wrong guy and he gets attached to you, you and he's the wrong guy for you, and you just drove him wild, good luck getting out of that one, right? If you lose yourself with the wrong dude by virtue of doing what you need to do to make him fall head over heels crazy in love and lust with you, then you've just lost a big deal. So before I even start sharing the little things that you need to be very aware that you should not do these things with someone who you determined to be a wrong fit for you or in the process of doing this you know there's something that's going to make this explosively painful for both of you that's the time to stop first thing i'll share with you self-expression at your edge here's what i mean every human being every man and every woman has a limit to what he or she feels comfortable expressing so you might see i don't know a fake movie where someone is being incredibly expressive, but relative to their potential, it's really nothing. So maybe relative to you, it would seem too much, but relative to their capacity, it's not really, they're not even hitting the roof of what's possible. And some people confuse that level of expressiveness, well, that's sexy, and that's something that would drive a man wild. Here's what, in essence, drives a man wild in terms of what you can express. The notion that you're expressing something that goes beyond your comfort zone, beyond your edge, you're at that edge where you're shaking a little bit. You're excited, you're scared, you're, you're doing more than you can, but not, and not m- m- a quantity that makes you feel completely out of whack, but more than you feel comfortable with. Men perceive that edge. Men perceive that fine balance between like, yeah, you may not be more expressive than the person behind you, but relative to what you can express, it's palpable that you're going beyond that edge, and that's incredibly enticing. That taps into a man's capacity for hunger, to want to see more, and also his, his in, in notion that some of what he's offering you is allowing you to go past your edge. That's incredibly exciting in terms of turning on a man. Second thing that you can focus on right now, which is point number three, the first one being you need to be aware of who you do this with. Uh, So point number three, I guess, is focus on range. And here's what I mean by range. You can create a lot of connection with someone through being a specific energy, through being very compassionate or very 
sexual or very intelligent with a twist of an edge of confidence and allure and mysticism. But a true mark that can help you if what you really want to do is create a strong, visceral, emotional, passionate, sexual lovership, all with a man, is to be able to play on that edge. Because you maybe you feel most comfortable being super serious and brainiac and and the range for you means if you can be serious and brainiac but also be very playful at times that's a mind fuck because that's not something he's expecting from you he's expecting for you to stay in your lane and here you are being able to go in this separate direction right or maybe your edge is you're always playful and smiling and dancing and one day you go all in into your depth and talk about things that he's never heard you talk about that's range. You're expanding your range. And expanding your range creates visceral feelings in human. Feelings of desire, feelings of excitement, feelings of hunger, feelings of exploration. So again, play with the edge of the, what you are most comfortable being most of the time. And some part of you that maybe is untapped frequently, that is either more playful, more expressive, more thoughtful, more yearning, more feeling, more relaxed and laid back, something that's the opposite of the commonality of your character. Not because you're playing a game, but because you want to open your range of being. What is boundaries? Boundaries are important in the process of driving a man wild because having a game like chess where you can move any piece whichever direction uh, there's no real rules just the first one who tapples the queen wins it's not an exciting game any idiot can win that game it doesn't require intelligence or depth or requires maybe speed maybe deceit to make sure that the person doesn't move anything before you actually take away the queen and throw in the back or something because there's no rules but if there's rules in a chess game it's far more compelling and interesting right the rules in the chase game make it so that not any idiot can win. There's strategy involved, there's thoughtfulness, there's intuition, there's all these different parts that have to be played that create a more fulfilling experience and make the win that much more impressive. In the same vein, when you have boundaries, yes, you have expressiveness and openness, but you have boundaries, he needs to be able to play within those boundaries, which are constraints that allow him to thrive right he's going to not because you're playing a game with him and playing hard to catch but because you shouldn't be easy to catch if you're getting to know someone and because you it's going to take time and energy and effort for you to open up more and more and more to him the natural process of that is going to create emotional connection it's going to create investment of him in you it's going to create this allure that's real meaning not just any idiot can get you it takes a special man with a special energy special commitment to actually unlock the the, the, the gates to your heart, all those little nuanced things that take place when you have boundaries do not take place if you don't. If you don't, it doesn't matter, you can fuck at any time, uh, there's no rules, there's no, no expectations of any sort, then uh, what most commonly happens in that situation like that is it's not valued, you're not valued, your body is not valued, your intensity is not valued because it didn't take much to actually pull it off and pretty much any guy who comes around who throws a couple of sweet words at you could do the same thing so that's important for you to understand that you need to have clear boundaries with the man who's pursuing you next one is presence presence is that quality of you being able to come back from everywhere you are your parents place that you were thinking about last night and your work challenges and your friend who basically is having a baby shower why is she pregnant and you're not? All those little things that happen in your life that some of them are exciting, some of them are sad, some of them are fearful and excited producing. Be able to throw all of them for a second and focus on the connection. Focus on being present. Focus on experiencing him, of creating that sacred space within yourself where he can be seen and felt. That creates that insane level of driving him wild in a way that sex toys and potential text messages that the secret love expert told you how to write will not because it's the real deal the next thing if you're practicing presence becomes the specificity of application of those of those 
of that presence into the way you know him. Because you've been paying attention, you've been present, you're not in your mind, you're in your heart, you're here, alive, present in action. You get to witness and see so much more of him that you can turn back into your relationship, that you can now use to serve him if you want to serve him. He can use now to serve himself and he can use to serve you because you understand where he's coming from, what he wants, his dreams, aspirations, his, the blueprint for an exciting life. You understand all those things and you're able to A, communicate to him that you understand him, that you see him, that you feel him, that you might be on board for his dreams. You might even be able to co-create a few of those with him because you now understand what he wants because you've been paying attention. You haven't been worried about uh, something else when you're with him. You've been noticing. You're able to feel him now. And you're able to express to him who he is to you and express maybe even areas and thoughts about himself that maybe no one else knows. Maybe that he doesn't even know as deeply as you're starting to get to know right now because you're paying attention. And the last one is confirmation of truth. Confirmation of truth means that you're able to reflect back to him in a way that might validate him, but that's not the goal, it's not validating him, the goal is being grateful. The way he shows up, you're able to pinpoint the things that he does, where he goes above and beyond the call of duty, where he did something sweet that he didn't have to do, where he held your hand for an extra two seconds because he knew you needed it, where he thought, knew that you were having an exam of some sort or maybe you were uh, in, I don't know in your PhD or masters and he was able to send you a message of encouragement before you went into the exam knowing that he's thinking of you and sending you good vibes maybe he had a shitty day at work and you're not expecting him but he brings you dinner and drops it off because he knows that you're too tired to cook all those little things that you're able to say dude I see you I appreciate you I acknowledge you thank you I'm grateful because of Thanks for showing up this way. Thanks for holding my hand an extra two seconds. Thanks for being present. Thanks for telling me the truth. Thanks for making me feel so special. Thank you for helping me feel safe. All the things that you might keep to yourself in an attempt to prevent yourself from being vulnerable that you are able to express to him in a way that is not fake. You're not conspiring to manipulate him by telling him shit that's not true about himself. You're telling him what's true that previously you would have kept to yourself. So he gets a chance to understand clearly what he means to you, what he represents, the value he adds to your life, and the kind of man that he is when he's around you. That, my friend, is how you can drive a man wild. Forget about the crazy magazines, forget about the stupid techniques, forget about this, the new sexual position. This is how you, I'm not saying those are not important, I'm not saying your sex life is not great. This is the basis and the foundation through which you can create a life of continuous devotion from him to you and admiration from him to you and heart explosion from him to you hope this is helpful useful and insightful if it is i'm gonna ask you to do one thing on the first link on the description of this video you're gonna find a link when you click on that link and enter your name and email it will take you to a class that i recorded for you that will show you in a more step-by-step -step way how you can attract and step into the kind of relationship you've been seeking that may have been eluding you. So all you do is click on the first link in the description and enter name and email, you'll be taken to that masterclass right away. If you like this video, please click like or thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.